a very good evening and a warm welcome to one and all present here i sakshi agrawal on behalf of gdps family welcome all the esteemed dignitaries parents teachers and all the viewers to this great event that is the elocution where our young gdpians will share their views on the topic importance of yoga in one's life as we all know in today's fast changing life yoga binds together a person's body mind and soul hence making one experience a feeling of peace let us now row the boat further without taking much of your time i would like to invite our very own pratishtha pranvardoloi from class 5th b to come forth and share her views on yoga not just being a set of exercise or asan but a lifestyle a very good evening to everyone present here have you ever heard of virtual connection since last year we all are connected with the help of different apps as we know connectivity is necessary i am here to build a connection between us with the team yo a lifestyle the essence of you is to the connectivity of our soul mind and body what do you imagine when you hear the word yo do you see a group of senior citizens practicing some basic postures maybe a word in the set of lifestyle yoga is always misinterpreted as a set of easy body movements so what does yoga actually mean yoga is an ancient form of meditation which synchronizes the body mind and breath first devised by the ancient sage patanjali now we know that yoga is useful but how do these work in yoga asanas the action tends to produce a tension in the muscles which reduces the blood flow for a moment and at the sudden release brings in more blood to the organ nourishing it yoga asanas should be an important part of one's life as to create mental peace and excellent immunity a legacy by our ancient sages with this i like to conclude that yoga asanas brings strength flexibility and confidence the regular practice of yoga helps in losing weight healing stress improves immunity and maintain a healthy lifestyle yoga best way to health and fitness thank you very well said pratishtha thank you so much i totally agree to your message you have given us a very nice message in your says you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great yoga is not just for physical fitness it is more than that now let us welcome master granth from class 5 f to tell us how yoga can take us beyond physical boundaries A very good evening to one and all present. Here, I am here to speak on the topic yoga and in a pool. We know that in current scenario, yoga has become a part and parcel of our life. With physical fitness, it gives us inner peace too. What actually is inner peace? Inner peace or peace of mind refers to a state of being. mentally and spiritually at peace to keep oneself strong in face of distress being at peace is considered to be healthy and opposite of being stressed or anxious yoga is enriching millions of lives all over the globe united nation recognizes its importance by declaring 24 june as international yoga day It is an art where people of all ages and levels of fitness can participate. You cultivate the ways of maintaining a balanced attitude in day-to-day -day life and endorse skills in the performance of one's action. So we should also practice yoga daily because inner peace comes when we relax our body. 
calm our mind and open our heart. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. Very well said. The message I think, which is important for everyone, आज वही है सबसे ज़्यादा हिट जो योग अपनाकर बने हैं फिट. Well done, Grant. Everything has a past, present, and future. So does yoga has. Let us now know what future yoga holds from Miss Hia Dixit. of class 6 please come forth and share your views further thank you ma'am and namaskar everyone the esteemed guests my respected teachers and everyone present here today on international day of yoga i would like to present my thoughts in presence of this august gathering yoga or yoga has been a part of our culture and civilization since ages for kids my age the first meaning of it is a way of exercise or workout that the elders do something which helps us live healthy and fit a bit of interest and research at my own level brought out certain points which i would like to share the aim of yoga is self realization to overcome all kinds of sufferings leading to the state of liberation yoga is one of the oldest sciences in the world originated in india which is very useful for preserving and maintaining one's physical and mental health also for spiritual evolution as what my friend said about yoga it is an important discipline even i to believe that yoga is an art and science which connects our body with our mind but now yoga is not only an art or exercise it has come up with a bright future for all of us especially during this pandemic we all know how covid-19 has affected everyone's life and yoga has proved to be effective globally in keeping people healthy not only physically but mentally too to the extent that people have started practicing yoga instead of gyms so if i say yoga has become a daily lifestyle of people worldwide then it won't be wrong not only this but yoga has also come up with many career opportunities for the people like yoga instructors yoga teachers clinical psychologists and many more even in schools like ours ddps and many others around us Yoga classes were held, and kids really enjoyed. The government has made it compulsory to have a yoga teacher and yoga classes in every school. I, on my individual level too, joined a yoga group with my father in our neighborhood. Daily, we practiced yoga asanas followed by meditation. This really made a difference in my mind and body growth. everybody should practice yoga because yoga is a never ending process the deeper you go the more fruitful the results will be with this i will rest my thoughts in the saying by bks anger yoga is a light which once lit will never dim the better your practice the brighter your flame thank you very well said here you are right yoga hamare jeevan ki shakti ध्यान करने की क्षमता और उत्पादकता को बढ़ाता है योग मनुष्य के शरीर मन और भावना को स्थिर और नियंत्रित भी करता है योग शुड बी प्रैक्टिस डेली द ह्यूमन बॉडी इज द टेम्पल ऑफ गॉड वन हु किंडल्स इट द लाइट ऑफ अवेयरनेस विद इन गेट्स ट्रू लाइट नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट मिस नवजोत फ्रॉम ग्रेट सेवन to share her views on india and vedic culture thank you ma'am yog yukto vishudhatmak vijayatmak jitendra va sarva bhutatma bhutatma kurvanna peena liptate meaning he who is equipped with yoga whose mind is pure who has conquered the self mastered the senses whose self is the self of all beings though performing action is not tainted 
Good after good evening everyone present here. I Navjot Kaur am privileged to get an opportunity to to present myself in front of you all and sum up my thoughts. India, the fabled land of seers, sages, spiritual leaders and healers has been a beacon of light for the west for centuries. It is known for its tremendous cultural power that has maintained a deep impact on the world for thousands of years. The richness of India's culture is manifest in a myriad tradition, languages, faiths, and rituals that blended both wealth and depth. People of this revered land exude a sense of vitality and positive energy that conveys the essence of life. Though the West has cast its influence through colonial rule, people of India still hold on to their rich culture and heritage, which is a thing to be marveled at. India is known as the cradle of human civilization that has given so many things to the world, even at a time when most of the civilization of the world today did not even exist, and yoga is one of them. The word yoga comes from the Sanskrit term yuj, which means to unite. Yoga is believed to be originated in India about 5,000 years ago. As per the yogic lore, Adi Yogi, the first Indian yogi who transmitted the science of yoga to the legendary Saptrishis or seven sages. He presented and explained 112 ways by which mortal beings can suppress their limitation and unleash their ultimate potential. Adi Yogi's offerings were carried out to the different parts of the world by these seven enlightened sages. Agastya, the sage who traveled across to the Indian subcontinent, was the most effective in terms of incorporating the spiritual process in practical life, not just as an ideology, but as a way of life itself. It is his teachings and philosophies that has crafted the Indian culture around the core yogic way of life. It was not done until the birth of another legend, Maharishi Patanjali, that he diversified and a complex yogic knowledge was assimilated into a certain format known as Yoga Sutra. There is in each mortal being a spark of creativity, call it the soul, the life force, or by whatever name. It is this spark that forms the basis of human consciousness. Every individual is unique in himself because he brings forth a special amalgamation of forces revolving around a spiritual core. Yoga helps us connect the spiritual core with the all-pervading cosmic source. The four paths of yoga, namely Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga, and Raj Yoga allow us to drive away the clouds of ignorance from our consciousness. All these paths are not independent to each other, but each path is intricately linked to the other. When we are devoted to God, we are Bhakti Yogis. When we engross ourselves in yoga practices, we are Raj Yogis. When we stand up for our fellow human beings, we are Karma Yogis. And when we reflect upon the true life purpose, we are Jnana Yogis. As is commonly said, all paths lead to Rome. So, all paths lead to salvation. This is the main aim of yoga. Thank you. Very well said, Navjot. Yoga is a boon, a treasure given to us by sages. We must spread it and practice it for harmony and peace within us and out in the world. Totally agreeing to your points, Navjot. Yoga kai rogo ki dawa hai. Very well said. Moving further, yoga is an Indian heritage. But how? It, take, it was taken to the international level. To answer this question, I invite Master Kabir from grade 7 to bring some light on it. Kabir, we would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Thank you, ma'am. Atha, yoga anushasanam, yoga swastha jivanam, samatvam yoga uchate, yoga karmashu poshale. Good morning, one and all present here. I, Kabir Mitsil, I would like to extend a warm welcome to every person present over here. Respected teachers, the galaxy of intellectuals, dignitaries, and my friends. I am extremely privileged to have this opportunity to sum up my words 
on the international yoga day yo it's a journey of discovering oneself written in shrimad bhagavad gita it is an ancient and beautiful practice of india that is linked to all aspects physical spiritual and mental this day was internationally recognized by the united nations general assembly on 27th september 2014 and do you know that the idea of an international yog day was proposed by our honorable prime minister shri narendra ji modi to keep the culture and tradition of yog alive and the first international yog day was celebrated on 21st june 2015 creating a world record for the highest participants in one single yog session 21st june is the longest day in the northern hemisphere and has special significance in many parts of the world now let me brief the uh, benefit of yog yog is not only a physical exercise where you twist turn stretch and breathe in the most complex ways it balances our mind and body and connects us to the natural world and helps us appreciate the world in an healthier approach as we can see in the context of the current covid-19 pandemic the yog has contributed a lot in stress management physical and mental well concluding my thoughts for the international yog day let's unite and pledge to make yog a part of our daily lifestyle yog for well being stay healthy stay safe thank you thank you kabir very well said the message which you have shared in your script i think we all should follow it yog hai swasth ke liye kranti niyamit yog se aaye jeevan mein sukh shanti one more message that was also quite captivating which we have learnt from you if you are not willing to learn no one can help you and if you are determined to learn no one can stop you now i invite master dipansh gupta from 10th a to tell us more about yoga and the world good evening everyone before going ahead of i would like to extend a warm welcome to every person present over here today we all are gathered here to learn about an ancient indian practice which in the recent past has gained more popularity around the world as the world is navigating fitness and wellness the international day of yoga which is celebrated on june 21 every year since 2000 the stress one experiences on daily basis have also rise so to combat the stressful lifestyle practicing yoga has now become imperative although yoga and its importance is gaining popularity now it has been since times immemorial in hindu practices but today also there has been a change in our trend of our society most of the people of our country and other countries practices yoga instead of going gym for their workouts as now they have understood the fact that yoga involves exercises engaging all the facets of the human body which is a great way to maintain balance when it is practiced in amid nature near the lake or the garden or a park it elevated your experience of practicing yoga the bliss one experiences or in nature are invaluable and it creates a sense of gratitude to nature and life i would like to end my conversation in a quote health is wealth so if you actually want to live your life wellly you should take care of your health start yoga and experience the benefits yourself thank you thank you dipansh what a clear thought now it is a time to know what role does yog play in keeping us healthy we all want to remain healthy don't we so don't take yog as a workout it is about working on yourself to enlighten us more i would like to invite ms drishti vijay from class 10th b 
to show throw some light on how yoga can keep us healthy thank you ma'am pavana ha pavata masmi ramah shastra brita maham jashana makarash chasmi srota samasmi janavi a very good evening to everyone present here today i drishti vijay of class 10 b from the shadalfi public school is here to speak about yoga and health yoga yoga is the most influential medicine in this whole world yoga can cure anything and everything if you are a person who does yoga daily you will never need a doctor's prescription half an hour of yoga every day and the doctors will never come to your way yoga is pretty natural and inexplicable yoga has something miraculous in it which can cure those incurable diseases which doctors are incapable of for example asthma diabetes arthritis liver problems depression hypertension and many more yoga is capable of treating everything it will take time but you have to be patient remember the two most powerful weapons are time and patience but yoga does not have any side effects so the result will always be positive so be positive stay healthy and keep practicing yoga thank you wow so true thank you so much drishti for making us aware of the benefits that yoga holds we can truly transform our lives through yoga you may not be able to control the whole world you may learn to control your inner world through yoga your message we should practice yoga daily i request everyone that we should practice yoga daily every new lesson every new learning starts from discipline does yoga have any relation with discipline well to answer this question we have in line with us master parth agarwal from class 7 who will throw some light yoga as a discipline thank you good evening everyone i am here to share my views on yoga but before i begin i want to ask you all a question have you ever wondered what is the difference between a successful person and a struggling person despite working equally one reaches the pinnacle of success while the other struggles well i guess it is the discipline which is the key to success a person needs to be disciplined in every phase of his life we can maintain discipline both mentally and physically yoga uses the body to discipline the mind and to reach the soul the person who masters himself through self control is truly undefeatable most people practice yoga as a means to stretch relax work out or chill out but again discipline plays a role yoga indirectly helps people to become more mentally and physically disciplined so that they can let go of fears or the situations that have been holding them back from what they wanted to achieve time management for meditation helps in building spiritual discipline which focuses on bringing harmony between the body breath mind and spirit of holistic life discipline and yoga is nobody's imposition they are self imposed yoga means uniting with your source and this happens when your mind is chattering all the time which suddenly becomes contemplating last but not the least i would like to uh, say that all powers are within you and you can do anything and everything so i would suggest you all to practice yoga daily for a healthy and disciplined life because we have much to gain and nothing to lose thank you thank you so much pat for sharing a very beautiful message again practice yoga daily we have much to gain and nothing to lose so we all should follow this and try to imply this in our daily lives thank you kids 
you all have really enlightened us very well all of you have shared beautiful thoughts which were really very impressive now i would like to invite our manager mr pushottam sharma the man of distinct vision and illuminating idea to come forward and share his views and enlighten us further congratulations to all the dpns and you gave very insightful thought on this yoga and its benefit aur sabhi ne bahut hi acche dhang se isko present kiya mujhe jankar ye bahut khushi hui ki is age mein bachchon ka is subject ke prati itna lagav hai aur ye is tarah se bana raha is tarah se isse juda raha to aage chal kar ke inke career mein inki life ke andar bahut hi beautiful benefit dega कई बच्चों ने बहुत ही अच्छे ढंग से इसको डिफरेंट किया कि प्रतिभा ने जैसे बताया कि इसको फिटनेस के अंदर ये कैसे इसको यूज किया जा सकता है ग्रंथ ने उसको जो है उसको अपने फिटनेस के बारे में उसको दिया डेफिनेशंस का पार्थ अग्रवाल ने बहुत अच्छे ढंग से इसको डिफाइन किया कबीर मित्तल ने उसके बेनिफिट्स को कैसे बॉडी के लिए बेनिफिट है उसके लिए बारे में बताया नवजोत ने भी इसकी डेफिनेशन के बारे में बताया और हिया दीक्षित ने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के इसके योगा के बेनिफिट्स इट इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ आर्ट एंड साइंस बहुत ही बहुत अच्छे ढंग से इसको डिफाइन किया योग के बारे में ये रुचि देख करके बहुत ही अच्छा लगा और आपने बहुत ही अच्छे ढंग से इसको डिफाइन किया मैं खुद इस आपको बताना चाहूँगा कि मैं इसको प्रैक्टिस करता हूँ और मैं इसका बेनिफिशरी भी हूँ मुझे एक बीमारी 2006 के अंदर हुई थी जिसमें केवल ऑपरेशन ही उसका इलाज था लेकिन वो आ, मुझे जो है ये पता लगा कि योग के द्वारा भी प्राणायाम करके भी इसको ठीक किया जा सकता है मैंने उसको एक्सरसाइज किया और दो साल के बाद डॉक्टर ने जिसने बताया था कि ऑपरेशन होगा उसने ये कहा कि अभी बीमारी ठीक हो गई तो ये एक मैं एक लाइव एग्जांपल हूँ कि योग से बीमारियां भी ठीक होती है कई बच्चों ने जो बताया कि इससे मेडिटेशन वगैरह से पार्थ अग्रवाल ने बताया कि मेडिटेशन ये एक होलिस्टिक अप्रोच है तो ये वास्तव में एक होलिस्टिक बॉडी माइंड एंड सोल इसको जो अलाइनमेंट करने के लिए ये हमारी योग साधना बहुत जरूरी है योग आसन प्राणायाम और मेडिटेशन ये तीनों का कॉम्बिनेशन एक परफेक्ट होकर के इसका पूरा बेनिफिट हमें तभी मिलता है और इस एज के अंदर जितना आप अर्ली एज में इसको करेंगे आज जिस एज में आप लोग हो इस एज में जब शुरू कर लेंगे तो फिर आपकी बॉडी फ्लेक्सिबल हो जाएगी उसको बहुत जल्दी अडेप्ट कर पाएगी जितना लेट आदमी इसको एंटर करता है आसन करने में उतनी दिक्कत है सुबह सक्सेना साहब का वो सेशन आपने अटेंड किया होगा इस एज के अंदर भी उनकी बॉडी कितनी फ्लेक्सिबल है वो इसका इससे पता लगता है कि वो कई सालों से इसको प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं प्राणायाम के बेनिफिट आज की तारीख में बहुत ज्यादा लोगों को मिल रहे हैं पेंडेमिक के टाइम में सबसे ज्यादा जो जरूरत रही वो ऑक्सीजन की रही और ऑक्सीजन का मेन ऑर्गन है लंग्स लंग्स का बेनिफिट वो प्राणायाम के द्वारा ही उसको स्ट्रेंथन किया जा सकता है तो आप सभी लोगों को मैं बहुत बधाई देता हूं और शुभकामनाएं देता हूं कि आप अपनी ये रुचि इसको और बनाए रखेंगे और आगे अपने इस इनको अपनी लाइफ के अंदर उसका उपयोग भी करेंगे तो आपको ज्यादा बेनिफिट होगा आपको आपके परिवार को सबको इससे जुड़ना चाहिए ये एक प्रकृति अपने भारत के मनुष्यों द्वारा दी हुई एक ऐसी भेंट है जिसको कि हम पहले भूल चुके थे लेकिन अब धीरे धीरे इसकी अवेयरनेस बढ़ रही है और सारी दुनिया अब तो पूरी दुनिया ने मान लिया है कि योग जो है एक बहुत ही चमत्कारिक प्रभाव दिखा सकती है स्वास्थ्य ठीक रहने में योग का मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम जो हेल्दी रहें बीमारी से दूर रहें लेकिन हमारी जो जीवन के अंदर खुशियाँ उत्साह वो बनाए रखने के लिए हमें योगा प्रैक्टिस करते रहना चाहिए आप लोगों को एक बार 
पुनः शुभकामनाएं और बधाई बहुत ही अच्छा लगा बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच सर साक्षी साक्षी जी आपने प्रोग्राम को बहुत अच्छे ढंग से कंडक्ट किया बच्चों को बहुत मोटिवेट किया इनकी उसको हाईलाइट किया इसलिए आपको भी नमस्कार और बधाई थैंक यू सो मच सर आपके वर्ड्स बहुत ही ज्यादा मोटिवेटिंग थे एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरीवन दैट वी शुड ट्राई टू इनकल्टेट दिस इन आर डेली लाइफ वी ऑल वॉन्ट हैपीनेस एंड योग इज द वे फॉर दैट मच नीडेड हैपीनेस फैक्टर इन लाइफ सो practice yog daily changes only happen in the present moment yog does not change the way we see things it transforms the person who sees on a very special note i would like to conclude the program with a message har taraf yog ho na koi rog ho har koi nirog ho yog ho yog ho practice yog and stay healthy Thank you.